Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse of Walker Faith. Happy Friday. It is July 31st. I cannot believe it is August. It's tomorrow. Cause for faith, if you want to follow along. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith. That's Hebrews. Whenever you struggle with your faith in a particular situation, remember, you can place your trust in Jesus because of who he is and what he's done. He is your Savior, Lord, life giver, protector, provider, counselor, sustainer, and redeemer. He knows everything about you, even the details you don't know about yourself, because the Lord God is omniscient and omnipotent. He always knows what is absolutely best for you, and because He loves you, you can count on the fact that He will faithfully provide it for you. Your wonderful Savior has forgiven you for all your sins. That's Colossians. Made you complete and has given you everything you need for life and godliness. He is absolutely sovereign, unfathomably wise, and he cares for you perfectly. Friend, you can trust Jesus to guide your steps, so place your absolute faith in him, confident that he will honor your trust in him and lead you to a life at its very best. Lord Jesus, I fix my eyes on you, confident you will lead me in the best way possible. Amen. In his presence, fix your eyes on him and be fulfilled with faith. Sorry, I got jumbled there because I was thinking, because I have to think as I'm reading. Yesterday we said we surrender it over to Christ. That's what this means. When you surrender it, right? You don't dabble in faith. You don't do, you play both ends and, you know, maybe a plan A, plan B, plan B, plan C. You fully surrender and fully trust in God. He will lead your steps. But remember, it's according to his purpose, not yours. When you have a plan A, a plan B, you have his purpose, you have your purpose, you have someone else's purpose. You have to know he has the best intentions. He sees the big picture. It's very uncomfortable, I know, right, to, to, to think about it, to reflect and pray and say, God, what is your will for my life? Not what I saw on social media or what I think is going to make me the most money and then try to fit that into his plan. That's not how it works, okay? You will live a life of, of just, you'll be all over the place. You will not be happy. You will not be fulfilled. You'll keep chasing happiness. You're not going to be sustained. You're not going to be fulfilled. What you need to do is build a relationship with Christ. Fix your eyes on Jesus Christ like it says here. He knows exactly what your purpose is, right? He can count. He knows all the hairs on your head, he says, right? So what I want you to do is this weekend is pray, reflect, go sit outside, read a book. I don't care what you do. Ask God, what is your will for my life? Not my life, my will for your purpose. It's all about his purpose, okay? Read the book, read the Bible, enjoy the weekend. And always remember, guys, you have the ability to inspire and evangelize through words and actions.